director of the Pan American Health Organization, World Health Organization, I appreciate every day the added value of research for health to the work we do to improve health in our hemisphere. It is universally accepted that achievements in health are due to research which provides solutions to address the health problems with effectiveness, efficiency and equity. In this 21st century, the health of populations have improved, but why disparities remain, as improvements do not reach everyone, and this is detrimental to society. The challenge is now to achieve health with equity, and research is an essential resource for improving health systems and the enacting of equitable, inclusive, and sustainable policies. Research is the tool that allows helping populations with efficiency, effectiveness, and quality, and to adapt knowledge to different scenarios and contexts in each country. Therefore, PAHO is implementing strategies that integrate scientific knowledge with decision-making processes at the highest levels, such as heads of state. This is a challenging task and requires continuous and adequate investment. As shown in our exhibition, Art for Research, Research for Health promotes social and economic development and brings great benefits that come across the different sectors of the economy. The exhibition helps to appreciate the value and social and economic benefits of research for health. It shows how research enriches people's lives and the whole society. As the director just pointed out, we wanted to convey what the returns of Research for Health are in terms of social and economic development to the countries. So we invited two artists to work with us. Jane Dempster, who does documentary photography, and Theo Chalmers, who does artistic portraits. We'll start with a photography from Theo Chalmers. The image we have here is a portrait of Ciro Aquarius and it's called Standing Up to Polio. On the top, you can see the sign of biohazard and it's holding two nooses and the noose represents infection. And Ciro Aquarius, who has been a champion for access to vaccination against polio, breaks the noose. The alternative to this is nothingness. Researching infectious diseases has allowed the region of the Americas to be polio free through vaccination campaigns. It has changed the life of people. This set of images by Jane Dempster illustrates a very poignant story, the story of the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal could not have been developed without Research for Health. It was the collaboration between researchers from different countries and between research of different types that allowed building the Panama Canal because it allowed controlling the diseases that made it impossible. The Panama Canal underpins the economy, not just of Panama, but a lot of commerce around the world and a lot of people benefit of having the Panama Canal. Furthermore, it has contributed to the development of sustainable capacities for research for health in Panama. A couple of the images you see there are from the Gorgas Institute in Panama, which conducts quality research. This portrait of Patch Adams by Theo Chalmers, entitled A Healthy Laugh, communicates the importance of quality of care related to research. Patients need comfort, and this is portrayed by a couch. Patients also need their dignity, and not just patients, but people and communities. Patch Adams has worked with communities bringing dignity to these people through colors, painting their houses, making them better places to live. And paint here represents creativity. There's flowers sprouting at his ears, representing the importance of listening to the needs of people and what they have to tell us and the sense of humor that affects patients' care. And that's already documented through research. Here we have a portrait of Maria Isabel Rodriguez. She's been a champion for the development of human resources for health, and also human resources for health research, because she wants research to inform policy decisions. Her life is like a book. That's how she described it to Theo Chalmers when she was being interviewed. It's a rich source of knowledge, Reading over the book represents her personal understanding. These thousands of smaller book flutters are representing how her life has influenced a lot of people. Her knowledge has global impact as illustrated by the shadow of the map on her face. 
and the female symbol represents her accomplishments as a woman to be the first dean of the Faculty of Medicine. She is a role model for many women in Latin America and for many Latin Americans. You can also see the national bird of El Salvador, which is the turquoise brown mormot, which represents her connection to her roots. This set of images by Jane Dempster tell the story about the use of research to address violence. They were done in collaboration with a WHO collaborating center called Cisalva in Cali. It was through the mapping of uh, the places where violence was taking place and looking at determinants, like whether people have access, for example, to recreation and access to uh, sources of entertainment that are healthy, that they started identifying those determinants and the relationship they had with the places where violence was happening and then addressing these issues. And through research, they were able to demonstrate that they could effectively reduce violence. And this knowledge gained is now being replicated in other places. This knowledge is being used in other areas of Latin America, Central, especially in Central America and the U.S.-Mexico border. This portrait of Elsa Moreno tells the story of research for health, especially for maternal health. It also tells a story about research being a career. She's been practicing for over 60 years now. She has an image of the Madonna and child, which she actually has in her house, and represents, of course, the impact and the enthusiasm she has had to address the issues of pregnant women and children and babies. The monitors on her arms and the use of very basic technologies but very effective technologies to monitor babies and to monitor pregnancy. Quality of care in low resource areas is possible and there is research to demonstrate how simple interventions can make a huge difference. These images by Jane Dempster tell a very compelling story and it's about kangaroo mother care. In places where people were unable to have access to incubators and other high-end technologies, an alternative was found by identifying the key elements and needs of a premature baby. That was mostly temperature regulation and it could be achieved through skin-to-skin -skin contact. They also identified that babies needed to be on vertical position and exclusively breastfed to be better off. Therefore, they developed this intervention and they monitored and evaluated through research that research has continued for decades. So now we know not only that these babies survive and they are in a safe and a condition at least as good as being in the incubator, we know that they do well afterwards in their cognitive behaviors, in school, and so on. Furthermore, there are other benefits to kangaroo mother care. You can see here the difference between holding your baby and being able to go with your baby home and engaging and involving the family and others in the care of the baby as compared to the distant care that you need to have when you are leaving your baby in a highly specialized unit. It also makes it easier to build a collaborative relationship with healthcare providers because they establish a partnership. This portrait by Theo Chalmers is of Pedro Can and it's entitled Living a Full Life Through Research. Nowadays, HIV AIDS patients can contribute to society. Some decades ago, we thought that HIV AIDS was going to break the bank and that people that had it were doomed. That has changed. And it has changed thanks to champions like Pedro Can, who have promoted research to address this condition, not just to tackle the condition, but to have access to the treatments. And thanks to this, these people can have a near normal life or a normal life and can contribute to society effectively. The AIDS ribbons are close to the face, illustrating the needlessness of fear when understood. The miniature versions show the progress from treatment to productivity to fulfillment, using Pajos AIDS awareness symbol as a beneficial climax to understanding, treating, and accepting people living with this condition. Now it's my pleasure to invite Dr. Mario Paul Kinney for the closing remarks. The stories presented in this video are but a small example of the overall impact that research for health has had for improving the people's lives and in boosting social and economic development. These stories also highlight how instrumental one individual can be as a champion of research. At the beginning of the 21st century, we have a world with much better health, but unacceptably with lots of inequity. Fortunately, research can help address this and foster equity. 
In this scenario, we need champions to incorporate scientific evidence into health policies. We urgently need these policies that can yield socio-economic return for all. We hope that this champion will encourage an increased understanding of research as an investment, an investment that with continued support and good governance would result in socio-economic gains as well as progress in health through policies that are systematically informed by evidence.